Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for February 23. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones I'll be covering paid asset and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Speaking of free, is something that I'm guessing all of you are already familiar with. I recently launched my 10 hour free course. I'm really happy with the result and the reception has been literally 100% positive. I don't think I saw a single negative comment. In the plan of asking you to like the video to make it go viral on the YouTube algorithm, that plan worked. Right now the video has 200k views, which is 10 times more than the normal amount. So thank you all so much, I truly hope the course has helped you on your own game dev journey, and a special thank you to the people that did buy the completely optional paid course, or did a super thanks, or became a channel member. Thanks to you, I did manage to break even on the money that I spent on the assets, so thank you. Also free right now, the asset store is giving away an asset, apparently it's a new one every week. So you just go into the link and use the coupon CROSSTAILS to get it completely for free. There's also a sale on new and trending assets, so if there's something you saw recently in one of these asset list videos, it might be discounted. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with a nice pack with a bunch of low-poly furniture. Every time I see one of these packs, it gets me inspired to make my own game like The Sims, or you can just use it to make a house for whatever game you're working on. It's a really nice low-poly style with a whole bunch of objects. Then for a nice effect, here is some electricity VFX. There's over 30 effects, really nice amount for a free pack. All of them look really good, so these could be used for some hazards in your game, or maybe some magic effects. Next here is a nice tool, it's for helping you build documents. It looks extremely detailed. I'm surprised that this is free. You can write just about anything, so you can nest documents within other documents. You can include text, image, code, whatever you want, whatever you need to make your documentation very easy to read. There are lots of documentation tools, but if you want one directly inside Unity, then this free one looks great. Up next, here we have some really nice shotguns. They are very low poly with some pixelated textures. I quite like how they look. They look perfect for any kind of retro inspired FPS. It features 5 models, they're all shotguns but still have some nice variety. Then here's an interesting one, it's a python interpreter that works directly in your game. Definitely a very niche tool, but if you have some kind of python library that you'd like to use in your game, then this would be great. You can even combine both python and c -sharp in the same script. Next here we have a nice prototype low poly pack. It's always handy to have one of these packs, it has quite a lot of unique elements to help you prototype tons of game types. So you could make a first person shooter, a car game, a plane game, maybe a 3D platformer or a top down shooter, you have tons and tons of options. Then here is a nice tool for setting up RPG attributes, so you can define things like health, strength, dex and so on, and then it features a nice tool set where you can easily add modifiers. It seems very well made using a proper interface and some generics, so if you have a game idea with lots of attributes then this can definitely help guide you in the right direction. Next here we have 3 unique characters. They have a very nice, very casual style. If you have some text in your game and it's something where you don't have any models, then something like this would be great. For example, a game with an overhead camera where you drive around a large city, maybe these could be your NPCs. Up next, here is a visual editor for Lean Tween. Lean Tween is a tweening package which can be really useful, but I believe it's all code base which can be a bit tricky to use, so this one works on top of that to make it really easy to use with some custom inspectors. It looks really nice with quite a lot of options. And then if you need a bunch of textures, here's a nice free pack. It features 20 realistic textures, they are only in 4k with 6 maps per texture, so this really is a very high quality pack, and if you like this style then this dev has tons more packs. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for February 23, there's links to all in the description, also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more, thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.